Why does the UK government hate crypto? This is the question I've been thinking quite a bit. And you've got to think with all regulations coming in, is this going to be the last bull run where you can invest in cryptocurrency in the market in the UK without additional scrutiny, without additional taxes and the UK government basically stopping you making money in crypto. You'll know how hard it is if you're from the UK when you uh, want to buy crypto. You will have your bank, whether it's Halifax, NatWest, HSBC, uh, Santander, one of the one of the main banks, a lot of them stop the transactions because they say that it's too risky and you could get scammed. Now, obviously, you can get scammed in crypto. We do know that. But, for example, I can, without any problems, go into my Bet365 account or any betting account that I have, and I could easily transfer, not the wood, five grand and put it on a bet on something utterly ridiculous that I could lose my money within 30 seconds of placing it. Easy. And the UK government or my bank will not question why I've done it, who it is to, or anything like that. They're not bothered. But the moment they see even £100 going into Coinbase or any other exchange, they will ask the question and be like, we're blocking this. Where's the money going to? What are you using it for? Which, you know, is annoying. Good coffee. Now, what you've got to think is, how bad is it going to get? Because what the government introduced as well, or the FCA, the Financial Conduct Authority in the UK introduced, was a stupid quiz. So in the UK, you'll probably see this on all the apps, cryptocurrency-wise, or exchanges that are used in the UK. What happens is, when you log on to your account, you will see a message pop up and it will ask you a lot. You have to ask a lot of questions to do your, so you have to do your KYC. So let's roll it back. KYC is not a new thing, know your customer. So when you're going on an exchange, you have to put your name in, your address, proof of identification for money laundering reasons. I get that. Although some people will be annoyed at that saying that it's, you know, a breach of privacy. But what also they've started doing is introducing a, it's like, a, I think it's 10 questions asking about cryptocurrency, making sure that you know cryptocurrency is, is really risky. You could lose all your money. There is so much scrutiny. You've got to ask, ask 10 questions. If you get a certain amount of them wrong, you are not allowed to buy cryptocurrency on that app. If you have a betting account, a William Hill, a Bet365, a SkyBet account, you do not get asked these questions. You do not get asked any questions about what you your understanding of betting there's not there's no questionnaire that you have to answer and you have to say as a an investor 10 percent or less of your investments are in crypto that's what you have to say now you've got that when you buy it but then you've got uh the uk government banning certain uh DeFi protocols so one of them is called orca Apologies for my accent, I'm from the north of the UK. O-R-C-A, Oscar, Romeo, Charlie, Alpha. And that is the second largest decentralized exchange on Solana. That is actually banned, okay? That is banned in the UK. So if you try and go on that website without a VPN, it'll say that it's banned in the UK because it doesn't fit the FCA's regulations, whatever they are. And if you think about it, you can go on to a betting app, spend £100, lose all your money, but you, they're making it so hard for you to make money in crypto. The reason why, I think, is two reasons. One, they don't like the common man making money. They don't want you making any money other than your wage, your brokey wage. That's it. That's all you want. That's all they want, sorry. And two, it's control. They want in my opinion, oh, sorry, before we get to where it's going, the last thing that they do as well is they tax you. 
So when you cash out, the, the way it works in the UK is when you dispose of an asset. So for example, if you made money in Bitcoin and swapped it for another crypto, but you never actually cashed it out into your bank, this, that's still classed as a transaction and they'll still tax you on it. Even if what you've transferred it to loses money because you've made money on that first asset. That's how silly it is in the UK. And the tax is the same as capital gains tax, which is 20% um, for lower earners, 40% for higher earners, 50% for above that. Insane. So what's going to happen? The reason, the second reason that I go into is control. They want, and it's not just the UK government, it is all the governments in the world, they want central bank digital currencies implemented. They want the digital sterling, the digital pound, Britcoin, as Rishi Sunak called it. He won't be in power much longer, but some of the clown will be. Um, but what they'll do is make everyone go across this central bank digital currency. I don't know exactly how they'll do it, but I'll know what they will do, in my opinion, is they will um, incentivize you. So what I think they'll do is they'll give you a yield. So an APR, sorry, an APY. They'll they'll give you interest, basically, on, on the central bank digital currency they introduced to make you do it. So what you'll have to do is swap your normal currency for the digital one. And what will happen is they'll give you maybe double. So they'll probably give you on the digital pound. Say you, you can put it in a bank account now, like... All the banks will do it. And what they'll do is you'll get 5% interest on your normal pound with NatWest. But what NatWest will also do is have a CBDC account where you'll get 10% yield if you if you swap to the CBDC. And what they'll hope happens with that is, one, you can swap your normal currency for it, your fiat currency. But two, you can also swap your current cryptocurrency for it. So what I think they'll do is um, you can swap your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, your stable coins, give them to the bank, swap them, uh, whether they have a DEX or something, I don't know. It'll just be done online. But you'll be able to swap that directly for the central bank digital currency and you'll get yield in it. So they'll get your crypto, they'll get your fiat, and then you'll get an exchange, the central bank digital currency pound. And that's what they'll do. And of course, when having the central bank digital currency, it will have the technology on the blockchain to be used or not used for certain things. So you'll probably be only able to spend it on certain things. So I think they'll you won't be allowed to spend it on certain leisure items. They may be able to block what you spend it on, we've got the carbon credit score. All this will somehow be implemented, not at first, because it will be done in stages. So the first stage is, here's your CBDC, here's your 10%, life is good. Two years later, you can only spend it on X, Y, Z. Or you can only hold it for a certain amount of time. Then you'll get extra, extra yield on it for your carbon footprint. Then you can't spend a certain percentage on alcohol. There'll be something and it will slowly get phased in to what they want, which is using it for, you know, control, basically. I don't know exactly how this will happen. I'm just saying roughly my idea of how they will swap what the world is now, which is fiat currency mainly with a lot of crypto uh, deregulated, i.e. Bitcoin or whatever, as well as them implementing the CBDC, giving you an incentive to swap your crypto for it. There's going to be tax breaks on the CBDCs, so there won't be any tax on it. It'll just be like a normal crypto. Um, the 10% yield you get from your bank, there ain't going to be any tax on that. But what they'll do is probably double the tax that it is at the moment on crypto. They will squeeze everyone out from normal traditional cryptocurrencies into the central bank digital currency. That is what they'll do, I'm sure. What am I gonna do? My immediate plan is to make money on my altcoins in this bull run, 
maybe put some into Bitcoin, but I'm going to keep Bitcoin, keep DCN into Bitcoin forever. And 2030 and beyond, I'm going to have my Bitcoin. There will be a market for Bitcoin, and I think it will mainly be Bitcoin. Um, they can try and tax it as much as they want, but if you're just using it for transactions, the, there's only so much control they can do for Bitcoin. They can regulate all these companies, crypto companies. So if you're Ethereum, that's a company. Ripple, XRP, that's a company. Cardano, that's a company. Bitcoin isn't a company. It is just a cryptocurrency created by an anonymous person and there's nothing they can do ultimately to stop you holding it. There'll always be a way, in my opinion. But that's the reason the UK government hopes, uh, hates crypto. Will it make a difference about the UK election next month? Uh, or is it July? I don't even know. It will make zero difference who gets in power. The plan to introduce, this, the, introduce the CBDCs by 2030 will continue. But I will continue to hold Bitcoin forever because I believe in it. And I think that is the way to go. If you do like my content, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you guys very soon.